Good morning. I am Julian Tomjo from the Department of Journalism. Today we will be looking at the topic John Stuart Mill and Utilitarianism. So, mo uh, mostly when we used to associate these two words, John Stuart Mill and Utilitarianism, because people think that John Stuart Mill is the first proponent of utilitarianism. But that is a wrong notion. Utilitarianism was a theory that was prominent in France uh, if, uh, even in the 18th century itself. So, in the 18th century, it was Francis Hatchion that was, that is, who first proposed the theory of utilitarianism. So, what does utilitarianism actually mean? Utilitarianism, mean, utilitarianism means that Utilitarianism means that the highest good for the highest number of people on the, uh, on the basis of pleasure and pain. So, what determines, what makes a thing moral? What makes one thing moral or not moral? Ethical or unethical? If an action gives highest good to the highest number of people, it could be termed as what? Moral action. If an action uh, produces pain instead of pleasure, it could be termed as an unmor immoral action, right? An immoral action. So it is based on these uh, numbers. So uh, after Francis Hatchion, then came Jeremy Bentham, all right, in the late 18th century, who is uh, who could be termed as the father of utilitarianism. We, we used to say John Stuart Mill as the father of utilitarianism, but Jeremy Bentham was the first person who claimed, who proposed the theory of utilitarianism. So, what did Jeremy Bentham say? As Francis Hachian, Jeremy Bentham also said that uh, you, uh, a, an action is moral only when it produces pleasure for the highest number of people rather than pain. Right. So, let us introduce the theory of uh, utilitarianism. John Stuart Mill was a renowned philosopher and political economist of the 19th century. So, the theory of utilitarianism came out in the 19th century through the works of John Stuart Mill. He published a series of essays in 1861 and he compiled the book on utilitarianism in 1863. Right. He is best known for his work on utilitarianism which states that the right action is that one maximizes the utility. So, what do you mean by utility? Utility means that you do something, you, you do an action, you perform an action, it should give, it should be the best, it should produce result, it should produce pleasure for the highest number of people. If you do an action which could be typically considered moral in the western notions or the moral philosophy of religion, but it is quite useless. It is, it is not that uh, much, uh, that much, it is not that much producing utility to people. It could not be termed as a moral or a right action. According to utilitarianism, an action should be only considered moral when it influences a large number of people, when it produces pleasure for a large number of people rather than pain. Then, the greatest happiness of the greatest number should be the ultimate aim of all social action. That is the theory of utilitarianism. So, how did the utilitarianism develop from Francis Hutchian to Jeremy Bentham to John Stuart Mill? So, according to Francis Hutchian, uh, it was only a theory on pleasure. So, the pleasure pain, uh, this dichotomy is the fundamental of utilitarianism. According to Francis Hutchian, if the greatest number of pleasure should be produced through an action whether it could be personal or social. And for Jeremy Bentham it was about social action. Uh, right, that, that means an action should produce, a social action should produce the highest number of good for the highest number of people and government should be, uh, should act in accordance to this theory that every action should produce the highest number of good for the highest number of people. But there is a problem here. What is that? If you mean that highest number of people, then you are excluding a section of people, right? You are excluding some people. Uh, there should be a minority who may not uh, get this pleasure. They may be part of that 
pain pa right every action can produce pleasure and pain if an action produces highest number of pleasure responses for the highest number of people it could be deemed as a moral action in the sense of utilitarianism in that case in that circumstance there is there could be a smaller number of people there could be a minority of population who may feel pain from the same action right so there is that problem also so is utilitarianism is an, uh, an ethical philosophy in itself it does not concern all the uh, mass of the entire population it only considers the majority so it's a it's it's a subtle majoritarianism right so the greatest happiness of the greatest number you cannot tame that theory completely virtuous theory there is some underlying negativity in that so so most of the nations follow this neo uh, the, the neoliberalism that is the idea that runs most of the nations today in the 21st century itself is based on this th theory based on utilitarianism what does that mean that means that there could be an instance where an action which could harm a uh, few number of people could benefit a large number so the nations are uh, like they are prompted to take that action uh, according to the neoliberal concepts which is based on utilitarianism right utilitarianism is a consequentialist ethical theory please consequentialist so an action is performed there is a cause then there is an effect consequentialist ethical theory that states that the moral worth of an action is determined by its outcome so that is the problem or the peculiarity here in utilitarianism there is no prior good that there is there are only actions there are only performative actions and there is no good prior to that action there is only good after the action right so if even if you tamed something as good or tamed something as bad it doesn't apply to utilitarianism for example okay there is an example which we will see uh, here but even fundamental errors or fundamental goods like uh, fundamental goods like murder uh, suppose murder so it's a bad action in itself according to normal ethical theories or normal the religious theories of christianity islam etc but when it comes to utilitarianism the action of a murder only could be determined afterwards not prior right then it is based on the idea that pleasure and pain are the only intrinsic goods and evils that is the principle here if an action causes pleasure to the highest number of people that action is a worthy action that action is a moral action if an action that could be deemed as immoral that would be deemed as negative in the typical sense in the classical sense of morality produces a positive effect on the highest number of people it is a good action it is a worthy action it is an ethical action according to utilitarianism then the best action is the one that produces the most pressure and the least pain most pressure and the least pain that doesn't mean that there is no pain there could be some negative effects but if if a majority of a population if a large section of a population is benefiting from the action it could be termed as a right action so uh, let me let us see an example then the greatest number of people right so this is known as the trolley problem so what is the problem with utilitarianism that could be seen here like what is happening here we can reject the path c for for the time period sake look there is a trolley coming through and in the lane a there are like eight people for eight people and in lane b there is one people they both of in both of these lanes men are tied to the rail there is no escape the trolley is coming down it has no brakes okay the trolley has no brakes that is important the trolley has no brakes it is coming through it can either pass through a or pass through b okay there is a person here 
with a liver right uh, kindly ignore the part c the picture is only for reference he can only push it either through a or b okay if you push the liver it could go through a or it could go through b so what is the right action here okay if you push the liver if you are not touching the liver it will go through a killing these eight people if he is or he is pushing the lever is straining the lever the trolley will go through b okay so there is a c there is a path c there that means self annihilation we can ignore that for sake for time sake so suppose what should what is the right action here there is a ethical dilemma here like in both the cases in both a and b people are going to die okay so a disaster is certain here there are no option the trolley is without brakes it cannot be overturned it will surely go through either of these paths okay so what should be a person what should a person do here there is a there is a that is a vital question here that is an ethical dilemma in either case if you even if you ignore the problem or if you uh, touch the lever you are committing murder in some way right you are either you are ignorant of the fact that troll is going through and then you are committing a murder right because you are not acting you could have saved that eight people sacrificing the one one person so according to utilitarian principles a right action should be that the lever should be pulled the troll should be changed to part b right that the uh, this track the troll should be changed to part b and these eight person should be rescued but then also you are committing some crime you are making the trolley pass through the uh, track b where one person is tied to the track one person is tied to the track that person is going to die so in a way you are committing murder because the trolley is passing through a will pass through a and kill, uh, that is the natural path but you are diverting it to path b but this ethical dilemma this is the problem with utilitarianism so here the pleasure of these people right the pleasure of the highest number of people comes out so it is the result of the pain pain of this man right the greatest number of people feel pleasure when the trolley is changed to track b but still a person is being killed here you understand that is a problem here that is a problem with utilitarianism it is not a completely ethical philosophy it says that the pleasure the highest number of good for the highest number of people so the right action should be in any case according to any in everywhere right people will choose of course uh, to change the trolley to track b but it could not be deemed as the right action because there is some problem here right what is the problem you are committing a crime but it is not a crime you are saving eight people at the risk of one so that is the problem with utilitarianism that is the question of utilitarianism the highest number of good for the highest number of people on by sacrificing an individual or by sacrificing a minority all right so that is the essence of utilitarian principles so coming to john stuart mills utilitarianism mills utilitarianism is, is based on the principle of utility utility so he, every action should have some utility it could only be a worthy action if if it only has some utility which states that the right action is the one that maximizes utility what is the right action the right action should be that one which is beneficial for the largest number of people right we argue that the greatest happiness of the greatest number of people should be the ultimate aim of all social action all social action when it comes to governance when it comes to governments that is where this question appears whenever government tries to initiate a new program whenever the sovereign state tries to do something there could be some problems there could be some friction with a small section of minority for example we are uh, 
building express highways. So, some people should be relocated from their original places, original uh, nativities for uh, constructing the road. But, maybe they, the, the, the minority will feel paid, but the action will benefit a large number of people. So, that is the ethical dilemma there. Should we treat, maltreat this few people for the benefit of the highest number, for the benefit of the entire state, or should we not do the action so that these people will not be affected? According to John Stuart Mill and utilitarianism, the, an action should be measured on the basis of utility and the benefit of the highest number of people should be ensured and that people should be relocated. Right. Mill's utilitarianism also includes the idea of justice. The idea of justice. It states that people should be treated equally and fairly. People should be treated equally and fairly. He argued that justice is an important part of utility and, they, uh, and it should be taken into account when determining the right action. So every action should be a just action according to John Stuart Mill. So John Stuart Mill's uh, book Utilitarianism is a classical exposition and defense of utilitarianism in ethics. So his books Utilitarianism which came out in 1863 defends this utilitarianism ethics. Right. The first essay appeared as a series of three articles published in Price's magazine in 1861. So, Utilitarianism uh, as the book came out in 1863. Prior to that in 1861, John Stuart Mill published three essays uh, in this magazine, Price's magazine. The articles were collected and reprinted as a book, a single book in 1863. So, uh, John Stuart Mill's Utilitarianism was a continuation of the theories from the 18th century itself, right? And it culminated in the publication of Utilitarianism, the book, in 1863. Utilitarianism's theories of a morality, of morality that advocates action that fosters happiness and opposes that action causes and happiness. Let us recollect, right? An action that causes happiness over that action that causes unhappiness. That is the best action according to utilitarian theories. Utilitarianism promotes the greatest amount of good for the greatest number of people. As we see, when used in a social political construct, utilitarian ethics aim for the betterment of society as a whole. The betterment of society as a whole, not for individuals, not for uh, groups, for the betterment of society as a whole. Okay. Then we, there we will apply this theory, the greatest number of good for the greatest number of people. Then, utilitarianism is a reason based approach to determining right and wrong, but it has its limitation. As I said, there are some people who will get hurt here, who will get, who will suffer here. So it has its limitation, but every theory has its limitation, right? Every theory, every moral principle has some exclusion. So utilitarianism also has its own negatives then. Utilitarianism does not account for things like feelings and emotion. Feelings and emotion does not concern here. An action should be only considered out of utility. It's a consequentialist theory. Our feelings and emotions or the feelings and emotions of the people who are at the other end, it is not concerned. The only action here concerned is the, the only thing that is concerned here is the utility. Feelings and emotion, culture of justice. Alright. So, thank you. That was utilitarianism.